Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your Love Forecast horoscope. This is going to be Will There Be Contact. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here. So first, we're going to be looking at like, where is your person when it comes to this connection? Like, where's their headspace at, okay, in the current? We're also going to look at um, why they're not contacting you. Okay, what do they want to say to you? Will there be contact and some advice? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's All right, so what's going on with my Pisces love connection? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What's going on with my Pisces love connection? When it comes to this connection, the current, the one I have communication with. Show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Pisces, let's lay down nine cards on this. I also want to look at the influence here. Okay, I'm hearing something about a train. More or less, someone's making some type of train sounds. Okay, that's what I'm hearing, like, they're mimicking a train. So trains, what do they represent? They represent um, travel, faraway energy. And I saw this interesting. They've got the world card. So there could be an influence of faraway travel here. What we see, there's something that happened from before because we got the Six of Cups energy and there's something about success and happiness. And also we have two major arcana cards. With, with uh, the minor arcana, it's something that happens on a day-to-day -day basis, but we have two major arcanans, Pisces, so there could be something going on here that's something beyond control, like it's like the universe. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with your person. So it seems like something is gonna be accomplished or completed here because of something from before, which will result in some kind of success or happiness, all right, or someone who wants to be happy. All right, we got the Magician card energy, another major arcanan. Okay, let me see what else I pick up on here. Someone's gonna burst someone's bubble, okay. What's gonna happen my Pisces, or more or less, what's going on with my Pisces, love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're, that they're out of communication with, what's going on with this person when it comes to this connection in the current? Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. Someone does what someone back, okay? We see that there's a want to get some kind of attention. Um, let's keep going. What's happening with Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What's going on with Pisces love interest when it comes to their love connection, the one they're in contact with in the current with the compass connection? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. There's some burdens, responsibilities. Someone wants to get the attention here. They, this your person wants to get attention. There's burdens, responsibilities. They're trying to have an ideal situation. They're seeing that you as their ideal partner. Okay. There could also be a spiritual connection here or they're trying to manifest you spiritually or there's some kind of manifestation taking place with the magician card energy. Okay, so what's going on with Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one in uh, with their person they're in communication with, what's going on with them when it comes to this connection with the current? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. Okay, so it looks like they could they could be at the edge here, right? Because there there is a realization like love. They they have this love here. And like, I'm about to go for it. We see that there could be some advice being given by this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. There's some kind of small meeting taking place here. Okay, let's see what that's about. Family tree, healing, okay. There's a lot of thinking about you, thinking and contemplating about how to take this risk, this leap of faith. This person's like about to do something passionate there. Knight of Wands energy, okay. Uh, something that they've done before because of some kind of regret they had before. 
something secret, something yet to be known, book card energy. There is something about this walking away. Okay. Hmm. So we see the influence is something from before, Six of Cups, reminiscing about the past, travel, accomplishment, towards a happy outcome. I'm going to take a risk, a leap of faith. I've been thinking about why I walked away or I'm going to walk away from this other situation. Let's see what else I pick up on. They're about to pop someone's bubble. So I feel like what they're saying by that is this person was a lot more arrogant than I thought. So I felt like they chose someone else over you at first. And they're like, this person's so arrogant. I'm about to pop their bubble. Um, let's see what else I hear. And I keep hearing train. Something about the train. Something about travel. Okay. I know that's a very specific message. There's a longing for you. Okay, let's keep going. They're trying to gain their courage, strength, or confidence. They are thinking about you. There's a lot of emotions at play. They see you as their soulmate. They may even be spying on you guys watching you from afar with the Seven of Swords energy. Remember, the Seven of Swords is a spying card, okay? I know a lot of people like to say that the Page of Swords is spying. I don't know why people say this Page of Swords is spying. You can literally see the Seven of Swords is somebody spying. <laughs> okay, so someone, is, this person is doing some Sly Slick energy. There's the Travel card again. Something Sly or Slick and Travel because they love you. Heart card energy. And they're, they're seeing a lot of spiritual signs, some kind of synergies, like something that they, they're realizing that they're around this connection, they're seeing that there is some kind of weird coincidences, okay? Spiritual coincidences showing that you're their soulmate. Mm -hmm. Like they're like, wow, I ha actually have the key to my success here when it comes to this love connection. Okay. So they want to hold on to you with the Four of Pentacles energy. Because they figured something out, they gained some kind of knowledge, book card energy. About something about a house, a home, family situation. They're realizing this, this connection is actually a blessing. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else I pick up on. I'm going to kick up my efforts. So they realize they have to kick up their efforts. Okay. There is this waiting around to see how things play out with Seven of Pentacles energy and investment of time. Seven of Pentacles energy. They want loyalty, devotion, long time, patient energy. They do want to bring some kind of peace offering. And we see something about marriage, commitment, involved with the situation. Something is about to change uh, because of an argument and fight, hurt and pain. There's been a lot of thinking and contemplating about this situation. Lots of contemplation here. So let's, let's look at this so far, okay? So the central theme about what's going on with your person in the current, they're seeing a lot of signs and synergies here, right? That's got them thinking. And they, they're like, wow, uh, you know, this like sense of thinking, contemplating, meditating, going on about these signs that they're seeing. They're like, this is a soulmate. This is a blessing. I walked away and I saw these signs. And I want to bring some sense of peace here to the situation. Right? So let's keep going. Wow, we have divine timing here. There was this sadness and now something has shifted. When the timing is right, I want to surprise you. Because I'm worried and concerned. There's something about travel here again. So I feel like this person is going to walk away from a situation. They're going to take a risk here and come forward and travel towards you. Okay, let's move this out of the way. 
All right, burdens and responsibility, and something has been growing. Some kind of unknowns, uh, lack of knowledge, or something secret about these emotions and love. We see this house and family situation, long time arguments and fights that's causes worry and concern. All right, going further. Going further here. Okay, we have this travel situation at the theme, okay? Travel, longing, missing, okay? Because that could be the like the ship card energy for Lenormand. Um, I want your attention, loyalty, devotion to surprise you about something from the past. I regret this situation. I want to spend some alone time with you. I keep thinking about this and I want something to change in this knowledge, book card energy. I want you to get some kind of knowledge, book card energy. All right, you are my ideal partner. I want to, I lack the strength, courage, or confidence. I gave this time towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, there has been some sly, slick energy or lying or deceptions about a marriage and a lack of commitment. And I want to hold on to the situation when the timing is right. Wheel of Fortune energy. Okay, so let's find out why they're not contacting. So why is Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Why is Pisces love interest not contacting Pisces? What's the truth behind this situation? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to, to see. There is something about a friendship, more than one person involved with situation, family, long-term, and we see something that has to be accomplished, world card, world travel. We see I'm my hands are tied when it comes to some kind of communication about something long-term. There's this motherly energy, fertility, um, yeah, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Lots of contemplation about the long term. I'm not sure what to do, and I feel defeated about it. Okay, so what do they want to say to you? What does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Pisces love interest want to say to Pisces? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. The passion I feel is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. Don't wait for me. I long for your kiss. See, there's contradictions with this person. I, I saw the two of swords, so. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. I'm afraid to lose you. I can't stop thinking about you. We saw that, right? Why do I feel so lost? What is it that you love in me? I'm scared of rejection. I feel lonely. Okay, so let's find out if there's gonna be communication. The Spicy's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know. And let's just, we'll just put in there that either you guys don't want to reach out to this person or there's no way for you to contact them. So that's the, that's what I'm asking for, Spirit. I want it clear cut as possible. Is there high potential for Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they're out of communication with, is there high potential for this person to communicate with Pisces, contact Pisces in the next three months? Pause the card, yes, negative card. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, what I heard when I was shuffling guys, it said, hold on, hold on, I'm a little unsteady. And we see the hangman, there's a stuck energy, okay? There's a lot of procrastination, devil card energy in taking this action, Knight of Wands energy. So it could be a little bit delayed. Let's just see if we can figure out when it's possible. Okay, so when is the highest possibility for Pisces to receive communication? from their love connection. I know that, that you said, hold on, hold on. So what is the likely highest potential for them to reach out to them, communicate with them? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. March, so it's coming out as March. So we're in what, November, December, January, February, March. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit more. So that explains why the, the hangman was there, it was a little bit delayed. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. 
Can I ask advice for my Pisces? When it comes to a love connection for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. When it comes to their love interest, the one they're out of contact with, the one that they can't communicate with at this time, what can they do? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's a spiritual connection here. Okay, so you can connect with the, the, your love interest spiritually. Turn on your heart light. Embrace your emotions. Appreciate this moment. In being supportive. The only thing that is real is love. All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful darlings, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if it resonates, if you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.